beautiful day and I gotta get this storage unit crap done three days to get out of there anyway I put a pretty good dent in it yesterday so today I'm gonna modify that little trailer make it five feet tall so Cody Bass and I were supposed to get together and do one more fishing trippy and we had a couple ideas maybe go out to the coast and and get on the the party boat fishing boat head out you know in the Atlantic there and see what you know and we were both talking about these damn big ass uh, what do you call them ah, damn I forgot already <laughs> Uh, tilapias and I've never caught one I think he said he never caught one either I said man let's just come out here we're right here jump in the boat load up we'll get every kind of bait known to man that catches tilapias and we'll go out here try to get some I mean they're everywhere and right now the bedding almost coming off the beds <clears throat> well he ended up couldn't make it he, you know, had his property to sell and blah, 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 blah. By the time all that happened, he had to get back to Alaska. So my other idea was I wanted to get a spear, like a harpoon spear, or make one. I'm like, man, I'm sure he could sneak around out here and spear a couple of these damn fish. Look. That's <laughs> that's Buster. See how he follows me around. Watch. Come on, Buster. Come on, buddy. Well, guess what? He got a girlfriend. I didn't know if he was a he or a she, and I, you know, I called him he and called him she. And yeah, I came down last night. I had one minnow left and threw it out there. And I turn around, there's two big fish right here. And I said, holy mackerel, one was Buster and his girlfriend. And she was rubbing all up and down on him. She's probably under the dock. Anyway, he's waiting for me to throw him something to eat. And I ain't got nothing for him. He thinks he's a brim. So you see that bed out there? That's tilapia. You should see the one over there, man. It's like a... You wouldn't believe what it looks like, like a sinkhole. <clears throat> Perfectly round and just drops in real deep, not like that. And then this one here, of course, was a tilapia bed. So anyway, I picked this puppy up at Ace Hardware. Not what I wanted, but, you know, I wanted something longer, more spear-like, you know. <clears throat> but I said, hey, I'm here, I'll grab it, see if I can, you know... By the time I get something made and everything, you won't see these guys again. They'll be out in deep water again. I'm going to try and get one made and get out there and just put the trolling motor on. I mean, there's just beds everywhere. Just sneak around, see if I can get me one or two or three. Sorry, Buster, I got nothing for you today. Buster. <laughs> you gonna be mad. Alright, I gotta get out of here and get that trailer done today. Alright, it's quarter after 11. See how fast I can get this thing done. It ain't gonna be done done, but done. We getting there. It's gonna be good. Well... That's four hours. Now I'm running out of steam. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, a lot of us just sitting here thinking, all right, what am I going to do now? I don't want to use this old top door. It's just so freaking heavy. But I think um, what I'll do is because I used to be a framer back in the day. I'm just going to frame this in and put a little door in it, you know, like a little tiny house kind of thing, a little overhang back here, and use the aluminum 
on the ceiling. That'll cut down on the weight. Uh, it's gonna be good, all cleaned up and stuff. And, and like I said, it's not meant for, you know, it's just, it's gonna be a one-time deal. I'm gonna run down to my storage unit, throw all them outboard parts in there. I brought the shelves home yesterday, put a, that whole back wall is shelving now. So all the crap in my storage unit that could go on the shelves, hopefully it's gonna fit. And then all the outboard parts, it's all gonna fit in here. Well, here I am at the old storage unit. And you can see what a freaking mess this place is when they cut this ceiling out and left me a giant freaking mess. Everything I owned was covered in sawdust and rotten wood. All right, Woo. Now one more trip, and I bet this will fit in my little trailer I'm making. Those are the big parts, and I got this, the beast, that's what I used to call them, the beast, to worry about. And then I got, you know, this is all parts, power heads, and all those buckets of parts I put in the van, this is just junk. I think I'll make it. And I'm gonna throw this shelf, I think, up on top. Get out of here. All right, storage unit. Goodbye, I'm gone. I'm pack jam, baby. <laughs> Let's go home, beast. Well, <laughs> damn. This power here is off the the beef is the 30, right? That's the 25 horsepower head. No, that's the 30 horse. That's right. I kept the 25 and beefed it up. All right. This power head got oversized pistons in it. I don't remember where in the hell that came from. This little 70s 20 horse is all there. Build that. Um, then back there, I got that 70s 25 that the guy gave me, the one from the uh, hard to pull videos. Then I got this little 74, six horse, in excellent condition. There's the hood for it back there. And my best deal I could think to do would be just jump on eBay and find a, a power head for it, throw it in there. I've got most of the parts, but I mean, it's in freaking pieces, it's missing stuff. So it might just be easier just to get a power head for it, throw it in. This is another 80, 384, 25 horse that's buildable. And what else we got here? I got the little, the little two horse, what was it, two, three horse up there in the box. That can be built. Right there it is. And in the van, I've got another 70s, 25 that can be built. And then just more parts and crap in the van. So I've got tons of crap coming up to do. Well, there's part one. Door frame. It's dirty, baby. Well, I just found something out. This is aluminum. I thought it was freaking sheet metal. This door is so freaking heavy. That's why I didn't want to use it. But I guess it's just all this tubing. This piece is aluminum and aluminum. This changes everything. Wow, it fits. <laughs> I'm kind of digging that now. I think that's the way I'm gonna go. Aluminum and O. Then that should give me enough pieces, I think, to do the door. Uh, I got stuck a couple times on this thing, trying to figure out what I wanna do, how I wanna do it. So, this is it for the back now. And then the door will be in the same thickness as the pallet wood. Where's that piece I had? 
they want. It'll be in like this. Or it'll be all framed out like this, I should say. And then I'll, I'll trim this stuff down to half that size. Trim the door out with it. But it's coming out. Like I said, it's not for show and tell. I like my little overhang. It's not for show and tell. It's just for storage, man. I'm going to throw all that crap in there. Alright, let's see how this thing's going to look. If it's going to work. Uh, these screws are just temporary. I'm getting nuts and bolts. Oh, man. Pain in the butt. Oh, man, that's in there. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Huh. So I was gonna put you know a brace back here and a brace back here for the hinges. Just slap a couple pieces in there. And then of course I gotta put my trim in here some kind of weather stripping and paint oh baby looking good boom got my roof piece all washed up cleaned up ready to go on I'm gonna be putting the nice clean side on the inside and you know go around just do a little clean up on it maybe take the sander buzz it a little bit nothing major Holy moly macaroni! <laughs> I'm getting there! Man! Oh man! This is just primer. Went ahead and said, let me put some primer on it, oil based primer, rust oleum. And this is what I got left of the dead whole gallon. I just keep going around and around and around and around and around. She looking good. Boy, you just don't know what white is until you put a couple different whites on there. But that's more of a ivory or something. I don't know. But that's a bright white. And that's a dull white. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this stuff here and use this for my door jam, just glue it on or something. Maybe some of that sticky. Sticky spray, trim it off. Well, I tell you, it's cool when you make something and you get almost done. Oh yeah, baby. This is play knife. Now, if it's going to stick, I use that Gorilla Glue contact spray, my 3M. We'll find out. Sweet! Keep going. Keep it going. Alright, got my lock on. I had to move the handle down there, but I didn't like it down there. And I don't like this lock. Look. Now I have to get like a deadbolt thingy because this ain't no good. I thought this thing was going to be like tight. I thought you turned it and all that crap. I just grabbed it and ran. Trim off my padding. It's sticking pretty good. So get the old knife and slice it off. Start unloading the shed. This would be all right. Well, <laughs> I'm not getting there that fast, but it's going all right. <laughs> I should have put a freaking shelf up there for like all of these hoods and stuff. The hoods are good. They all need freaking rubber on them. Somebody still needs to come up with an idea for that that works. 
I know I've tried a bunch of them and but somebody needs to reproduce that stuff they could make millions I gotta get the big heavy stuff in first anyway I, I probably got more flywheels and than I'll ever need it's just the biggest part time-consuming tearing all that crap apart what's what I want what I don't want you know like I was saying stuff like this look at the tiller handle on there the the uh, brass gears man in perfect shape nothing wrong with them excellent condition and that's a nice little shorty man you see you got a boat the seats way in the back and you don't like that long handle sticking you in the ass you need a shorty handle this old outboard this is the $40 Craigslist special and I guess the guy got fed up with it and threw it in the water because when I got it home it was full of water and what happened was he, I don't know, he got it from somebody and they put this bracket on it. So he thought it was a 25 and went out and bought that book, the Solek book. I got the book, got the book, the motor, it ain't, it ain't 40 bucks. So I took it apart, it was a little bit frozen up, got it unfroze and it's in there. <laughs> I brought it back. A long time ago from the shed to build and then I just got wrapped up with all these can you fix my motor deals Cat Ron anyway he didn't know what he had he looked at this and thought that was what the motor is. it turned out it was a 20 horse uh, I can't remember the year offhand early or, or uh, late 60s early 70s that dark green but the whole power head, everything is in in a in a box in there. And it's been in there a long time. Look, this thing's busted. So that's on the list to build. I've got five, six motors I can build. And I'm doing pretty good. I could almost put the beast in there if I if I didn't want to get anything else in there. <laughs> I'll take the the beast put it back on stand and I had taken a coil out of it for another motor so that's all it needs put a new coil in it and something with that oil deal here's top shelf baby top shelf early starter motor bracket I think up till 76 and 400 and something bucks on marineengine.com 260 to 3 something on eBay. Hoo hoo hoo! Top shelfy baby. So I got plenty to do. Oh man, it's nice to be able to walk in here again. Oh yeah, baby.